Hello everyone, this is a review on the Polaroid HD Professional Action Camera, the XS100 Extreme Edition, which is kind of a mouthful, but it shoots in 1080p um, with a full 16 megapixels of, a, of a clarity, or resolution, wide angle lens, um, for anti-rotational, it's waterproof, up to 10 meters, and of course it's lightweight, so it has a little bit of everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the camera, see how it operates. I'm going to show you some uh, kind of real-time footage on it. I'm going to put it on a remote control car and, uh, and and put it through the ringer on the remote control car and we'll see what it, how it actually looks. So with that, we're going to again review this camera and uh, see what you think. Okay, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible, but it's going to be tough. Um, we're going to show you how this thing mounts. Well, first of all, you have the wing mount right here. This goes on the bottom of the camera. It screws in easy enough right here. Now you're going to make sure that you don't break this because if you do you're going to be kind of out of luck. Now how it works is that there's a variety of other assemblies such as this that can then be placed on and as you can see it's got a ball and that ball can go onto something like this or it can go onto a handlebar mount like that. Or if you don't want a side mount you can use a standard front mount and again you have the same effect where you can place it in it drops into place screws in and your camera is ready to go so you have uh, again the handlebar mount you have a mount <clears throat> um, here and then that you can actually fasten these pads on and then glue it or fasten it then to maybe your helmet or other device or it comes with these straps such as this that allow you to strap it to your chest, your helmet, to your canoe, whatever. And again you got a lot of length here so you really can strap it to just about anything. Um, if you want a smaller piece you can use a smaller one here and again you have smaller pads that will again fix right to the camera. So you have lots of options and, and truly you can get it fastened to anything. Um, again, you're going to see in the, in the video that I've fastened it to a remote control car. Um, so as long as it can support the weight, you're going to be good to go. Okay, the back of the camera right here is kind of the guts of it. So you have a spot for your micro SD card and nothing comes with it so you're going to need one on hand when you purchase it. So I went ahead and you can purchase these pretty cheaply. I purchased uh, 16 gigs uh, for probably about $10, so not very expensive. You have your um, your input right here uh, it's for your computer. That goes right into your uh, USB drive, which again is uh, easy. It plugs in, works for Macs, works for PCs, and then you have an HDMI cable um, that comes with it right here that allows you to connect it directly to your television. So you have lots of options right here in the back of your camera, and then this is easily secured, like so, so that you don't get it wet or get it ruined. Okay, a couple more words, and then I swear you'll see some action shots. Um, the camera's fully waterproof, so you can take it diving down to 10 meters without any ruin worries about it getting ruined. It also comes with this nice little case, uh, nothing too elaborate, but it does work in, in a pinch to uh, just kind of keep it stored so you can not get it scratched or, uh, or damaged. Um, it's also uh, auto-rotational, so think of kind of like a Wii remote where um, it has a little gyrometer in it, and so it always knows what's upright, so it kind of self-levels. Now, if you want to take video on the side, that might be a problem. But if you're okay with, um, again, this thing always trying to adjust so the picture's always completely upright, you're, you're going to be good. So keep that in mind. It does automatically rotate the video to uh, keep it upright. So not that big of a deal um, for me. Uh, it also will take snapshots if you want more than just a... Uh, movies you can take a little snapshot photos and, and and then share those as well okay here's my setup with the remote control car uh, you can see that the camera is mounted on the top and so uh, let's have some fun with this and see how it actually works and we're off
<laughs> okay, so you've seen the uh, Polaroid uh, XS100 Extreme Edition in action. You probably thought it was a pretty choppy video, and of course it was, but remember that it was on top of a remote control car, and a pretty tough little remote control car as well. So going through the grass, um, you can see uh, it was able to record and, and actually have pretty good quality. Um, so if you can do it on a top of a remote control car, I think you can do it pretty well on top of a, uh, a dirt bike or a uh, bicycle or some other type of a device too. So uh, I actually consider that to be one of the more extreme challenges for it. So uh, overall, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. There, there really is quite a bit to like about it. Um, it's very uh, durable in terms of the types of environments you may take it in. Uh, the only concern I do have is that this bottom clip here, if this was to become damaged, a lot of the accessories aren't going to work very well. So keep that in mind. But other than that, um, that's the only real challenge to it. Um, the video quality is pretty good. I do like the fact that it self-rotates so that your image is always upright. Other people may not like that as much, but uh, I actually do like it quite a bit. Um, the camera is easy to charge, holds a good charge for an extended period. It's easy to use. So there is a uh, really is a lot to like about it, especially at this price point. So uh, I'd give it four and a half stars. Um, and uh, I think you can buy it with confidence. Now, again, you're not buying a $2,000 camera. Um, so keep in mind, you know, at this price point, this is really, I think, a pretty good value.